really it wasn't yeah. emotion like out there in the first overtime. Uh, it was pretty crazy, you know, everybody's yelling and screaming, you got the fans, I mean the crowd and everything, everybody going crazy, but you know, you got to find a way to stay calm, you know, and just do what you do. How do you stay calm when, you know, people are around you when you're trying to take your practice kicks, you're having to move people around a little bit? Uh, I mean, it's really, it's, really, it's really just about focus. Uh, you know, you got to just, you know, practice what you do. I mean, that's a big part of the game is just mental, you know, focusing and being able to focus when the time comes, so. I mean, you just block everybody else out and just focus. Same thing for overcoming a miss earlier in terms of staying confident. Yeah, uh, I mean, that's another big thing in kicking. I mean, just moving on to the next kick, you know, you, can't, you gotta have a short memory. So, uh, yeah. Connor, how much did you want? Yeah, anything else really important? I like to go. Connor, how much did you want? You know, I just I let Coach Spurrier and Coach Mayers know before the game that I was ready if, uh, if I needed to. And uh, he came to me after the second half and told me to warm up, and he's going to put me in. 17 to nothing, you come in. What are your emotions at that point? What's your mindset? Stay calm. We, we're, we're not going to win a game in, in a series. We just got to take it play by play. I'm so proud of our guys to battle throughout the game. Is there a turning point in your mind? Yeah, we've been moving the ball on them all, all game long. We were just shooting ourselves in the foot. So I, I had a peace of mind you know, that we were going to be able to move the ball on them. In the second half. Yeah, it was. Uh, God is great, man. I wasn't even supposed to be playing this game. You know, I was considered out two or three weeks and uh, you know, give all the glory up top. So uh, I'm thankful to be able to play in this game. Uh, I feel extremely blessed. Connor, looked like you were intentionally trying to stay and let the pass the ball a little more instead of running out. Was that because of the knee or just Yeah, a big part of that was uh, the knee. But Missouri has a lot of speed up front. A lot of those guys can chase me down, as they did a couple of times. So, uh, you know, I tried to stay in the pocket as much as I could. Did you feel like you could use their speed on the text line to let some of those screens to let them be successful? Yeah, they did a lot of, uh, they were really active up front, and I think we did a good job of uh, noticing that and getting good play calls in. Expecting the play from this game? I couldn't hear. Expecting the play from the end of this No, I wasn't. You know, I, you know, I, I practiced a little bit. I didn't take any reps with the, the starters this week, uh, but I, I was uh, told Coach Burr that I was okay, and I was cleared by the doctors. Fourth down, what are your emotions? Just take what they get, you know, I get, got to give them a shot in the end zone, and that's what we did, and Bruce made a head for a play. I saw the corner, uh, he manned up on the outside receiver and, and left Bruce on a little uh, corner route, and uh, it's pretty much a switch route, and he ran with the outside guy, so I threw it to Bruce, and it was a good play call by Coach Bowler. Connor, what does this do for you to get this confidence, especially going back home from the final and not trying back in the East Coast? Well, to come in here and uh, on the road, night game, Team undefeated, number five team in the country, coming off a loss. The battle, the battle you know, ourselves back in the second half. I'm just extremely proud of it. And we got momentum going in. We got to finish uh, the next four weeks at home. Yeah, Bruce had an outstanding second half. He really had a good game. Uh, made some good routes, uh, good catches, and uh, the, all of our guys just battled up front. We battled all night long. Mike Davis here. Appreciate it. Mike, can you talk about the turnaround from the two fumbles to all the screen passes in the second half for you? Um, it was just, you know, my teammates picking me up and um, telling me to forget about it. You know, don't worry about it. And, um, have a positive attitude. Was there a point tonight you lost hope that it was out of reach? Um, no, I didn't lose hope at all. You know, I, I tell you what, all guys. Today they came together and um, we all played for each other. We never gave up. What happened on the phone was like? Were you just on the ball up or were they just scripted out of it? Uh, they just scripted out. It was a um, great play by the defense player. Uh, one time, you know, on the goal line, as soon as I got the ball, to you know, step forward, dude had his hand on the ball. So, I mean, it's, it's all on me though. Injury-wise, are you okay? You got the air the end? I have no idea what's up. Okay. <laughs> Mike, the Lorenzo Ward. 